In section 3.2, everything is going to be independent and mutually exclusive. So independent uh, can, a lot of times we'll say, put the word with replacement, uh, which means you're going to reset back to the initial state. And that will come up in a few of these problems we're going to do here. Uh, but independent only matters when there's more than one uh, event that you're looking at or more than one outcome. And mutually exclusive means they both cannot occur at the same time. So my example here, if you roll a two and an odd number, uh, you cannot roll a two and also an odd number. So those would be mutually exclusive. But if you're rolling a three and an odd number, well, those can both happen at the same time because three is odd. So you could roll a three and you'd be rolling a three and also an odd number. If we have or, these are all on the formula page. If we have or, we add the probabilities as long as they're mutually exclusive. If we have the word and, we multiply probabilities as long as they are independent. So let's get started here. These are pretty similar questions, so we'll do them both at the same time. So here a coin is flipped and a die is rolled. Now a coin has two outcomes, heads and tails. A die has and tails. A die has six outcomes. So there is six outcomes for rolling a dice. Uh, two for heads or tails on a coin, which means total there's 12 outcomes possible. So what's the probability of flipping a heads and rolling a one? So flipping a heads, I'll switch to green, flipping a heads and rolling a one. There's only one outcome that's favorable right there. So one favorable outcome, 12 total, one out of 12. Now what I just did, I sidestepped the rules, the and rule, right? So you can multiply probabilities. So let's think about this question by multiplying probabilities. Probability of a heads. Uh, probability of heads. And rolling a one. They are independent. Whether I roll a heads or tails does not affect rolling a one or not rolling a one. So this is probability of heads multiplied by, again, this is a multiplication up above, multiply probabilities. Probability of a one. So heads is one half, one out of two. Probability of rolling a one is one out of six. You multiply these, you multiply numerators. So one times one is one, two times six is 12. So that's another way to compute this probability here. All right, the next question, sort of similar, except it has the word or in it. So now we're going to think about adding probabilities if they're mutually exclusive. So we're not flipping coins and rolling dice. We're looking at decks of cards, probability selecting a jack or a nine. Now here, here's the jacks, here's the nines. So a question, and there's four and four, are these mutually exclusive? If I pick up a jack, could I also pick up a nine? You're only selecting uh, one card. So you cannot select one card and get a jack and a nine, or you have a really weird deck of cards. So you can only get a jack or a nine. They're mutually exclusive. Probability of a jack or nine is a probability of a jack plus probability of a nine. Now a jack is four out of 52 total. Probability of nine, also four out of 52. Adding fractions when the denominator is the same, you just add the numerator. And of course we can reduce this fraction, uh, but this is how we'd use or when we compute, as long as they're mutually exclusive. This question would be a lot harder if it was a jack or a heart, because you'd have an overlap right here. There's a jack that's also a heart, so that would not be mutually exclusive. But luckily, this whole section, everything is mutually exclusive. We don't need to worry about that.